Hey everybody, uh, Gideon's Tactical here. Got another uh, quick review for you. Uh, this is the K-Bar uh, Warthog. Um, this is um, a very good budget pocket knife. And what I mean by that is this is about the cheapest pocket knife you can get um, uh, worth anything, worth any, like of any good quality. Um, I've never found a knife that is cheaper, um, that has uh, good attributes for such a cheap, cheap knife. Um, so I'm going to just kind of give you a couple quick, uh, examples here. Um, this is the serrated version. It comes in straight and serrated. Um, and this is made in China. Let's see right there. Um, out of mid grade, uh, Chinese steel. It's not out of the eight, you know, what I can't remember how, all the lines of it, but it's not made out of that. It's made out of a, a I think a sl about the same, just a different number, um, knife, uh, the Rockwell hardness, um, is about like 20, no, sorry, not 20, 56 to 58, which is really good for a pocket knife. Um, but I mean, it is Chinese steel. Um, it does flick out pretty well. Uh, if you give it a good little wrist flick, um, it'll come out. Um, you know, it's got a really nice belly to it and it does come sharp right out of the box. I mean, that's, I could cut my finger right now if I just pushed on that. Um, but, uh, you know, in good serration still gives you plenty of cutting. Um, if you were to have a serrated, get the serrated one, kind of a clipped point here, um, really wide blade. I mean, it's definitely wider than my thumb. Um, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's definitely a strong blade there. Uh, got one thumb stud here for righty. Um, this is not ambidextrous. If you're left-handed, you're screwed. Um, they do have a screw here that you can switch it out, but, um, this is just really poor designing. If you close it, that thing is going to be hitting this bar right here. Um, and it would be sticking up about like that um, if you were to switch it and be for a lefty. Um, so it's kind of a stupid design there. Um, but it just kind of, I don't know, it just, it with not much effort will flick out pretty, pretty nice and easy here. Um, and uh, got a really awesome thumb ramp. That's probably one of the best features about this knife in my opinion is that they did an awesome job with this finger choil down here and the thumb ramp because it just, I mean, it, it really did this I don't know. I don't know how to describe it except for it just feels really good in your hand. Um, you know, the thumb ramp is just really well. It's not going to, you know, you're not going to slip. I mean, it, you're if you're holding it like this and you're doing any sort of cutting whatsoever, I mean, you're you're it ain't popping out and you, it just feels really good in your hand. Um, so, uh, yeah, liner lock is really strong. Uh, there's no wiggle in here whatsoever. Um, you know, you got this really strong um, clip. Uh, I mean, it ain't going to bend, so they did a really good job with that. Three screws up here, so you can take it off if you so desired. Um, no tip up, tip down, or anything like that. I mean, it's just righty, and you're carrying it tip down. That's it. That's all the options you got. Um, really wide handle. Uh, this is really a bulky pocket knife. Um, here's the dozer um, K-Bar, and you can see, I mean, it's almost like you could stack almost two dozers in, in between there. Um, so... Uh, this is definitely way thicker than the average pocket knife, which has a plus and a minus. Plus, it feels amazing in your hand. Minus, it's super bulky. Um, G10 uh, style grip here. It's very grippy. You, know, you don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hand. Uh, no lanyard hole. Um, so those guys who like lanyards, uh, sorry, you're out of luck with this one. Um, it does have jimping um, right here and right here. So if you're holding it and you're using it this way, um, you're... you're thumb feels really good right there you know it, it there's a nice amount that you can hold and uh it ain't going to go anywhere and that's th again that finger choil is going to hold your hand really well right there so you can really do some stabbing if you had to you know if you're doing it using it for tactical use or whatever um so i mean that's basically all there is to say you know it's thick it's big um and it's made in china um let, let uh, let's put it this way for ten dollars more, you can get a dozer, right here. Ten, fifteen dollars more, you'll get a dozer, um, versus the Warthog. Uh, I would spring the extra ten or fifteen bucks for the dozer because it's better steel and made in Taiwan, not Japan. Lockback design, um, you know, just overall, just in my opinion, just kind of more practical. Um, this it would I would take over any Gerber though, any Gerber that you go to Walmart to buy. Um, maybe some low-end buck knives. I would take this over 
Um, a Ger any sort of Gerber that Walmart sells pocket knife design, you know, the ones that are like all steel and they got the weird, you know, cross thread and you can see the blade and all that. This is, this in my opinion, because I've had one of those before, this is a way better knife um, than those. And for the price, uh, I mean, uh, it's under 20 bucks. You know, $20 to 15 ish is, is what you're going to pay for this right here. Um, so, I mean, for the price point, uh, it's not bad at all for, uh, you know, what you're asking for. So um, what I would use this for, just in my opinion, now if you're right into pocket knives or you know you lose a lot of pocket knives, this would be great. Um, good knife to throw in your bug out bag that you don't really have to worry about, you know, and you just kind of kick the crap out of it and who cares if you lose it or beat it up or break it. Um, what I would use this for is maybe if you're a construction worker, you know, on, you know, on some sort of job site, you like having a pocket knife, this thing's going to do a lot of stuff. You can, you know, it's going to, you know, you can wear gloves and, you know, it's not going to be slipping out. You know, I, I probably wouldn't be using this very well with gloves. I mean, you know, my gloves would not hold this very well. This would, if you know, if you're wearing leather gloves or work gloves, this, this is going to feel a lot better in your hand. Um, you know, a car knife, you know, if you just want a pocket knife, you can just throw in the car in case you need to cut your seat belt, you know, or, or, you know, just open something in the car, uh, just throw it in your glove box. This would be a great knife for that. Um, you know, if you're, if you're working at, you know, whatever the post office or UPS, you know, or something like that, and you open a lot of boxes and you want a knife and something that you can just kind of kick the crap out of, this is a perfect knife for that and it's dirt cheap. So, um, yeah, that's my opinion on it. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, feels good in the hand, good thumb ramp, good design, be a good Christmas gift, you know, sticking someone, someone's stocking. I mean, they're definitely going to get some use out of it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this, um, warthog just, um, that the word warthog definitely describes this knife. I mean, it's a tank, it's a beast. Um, I mean, definitely low end on the spectrum of pocket knives, um, for quality and options, but I mean, the locking mechanism works great. The, the, the design itself is really good. I'm really happy with the design. Um, you know, if they had used OS8 steel and maybe done a, something a little different with the handle to make it more practical for everyday use and tip up, tip down, I'd probably use this knife a lot. This is definitely one of my kind of car knife and all the things that I described. So, um, hopefully that helps your decision a little bit. Maybe you never even heard of it and you're like, man, I was going to go buy a junky knife at Walmart, but now I'm going to buy this instead. Um, good choice. Definitely better than any Gerber pocket knife for sure. And some low end buck knives are definitely, this is definitely better. So that's the K bar warthog folder. Uh, you can get it in Tanto, um, blade straight or serrated. You can get it in this bellied form, uh, straight or serrated. Uh, and just a great little pocket knife for, you know, 20 bucks or under. So hopefully this helps you out a little bit with your decision making. Thanks.